Hey everyone, Nairman here with a uh, another update to the Q&A videos. It's a new month, so that always means uh, new questions from all the people at my Patreon. So, here goes. Question from Mark1246, Marucio Cuervo. Suck, I missed last month's Q&A from the Momo Contra, but here I go. If given the necessary funds, what would you do with your life? Go to college, move out, get the job you always wanted? Go all out, Ryan. I just wanted to make an interesting question. Uh, I guess... Hmm. Given unlimited funds, I would probably just keep doing this for the rest of my life or something like that. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of a tough question, considering I don't really know. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't move out first and foremost, but hmm. it, it, this is kind of a vague question, because if it's unlimited funds, probably does not work and continue to do brain scratch, my channel stuff, that sort of thing. So probably just that, really. I, I'm boring, I know, but you know, I'd probably do some fun stuff here and there, too. Uh, P.S. Did you hear this music CD I gave to you from your last panel back in Momocon? If so, how did you like it? Uh, I enjoyed it. I need to give another listen through just because I kind of just browsed it, but I, you know, I enjoyed the track list. Uh, P.S. Two. It was nice meeting you guys at Momocon. I hope I wasn't being too much of a pest when asking you guys question and asking you guys about Tokyo. Cool. I'll stop doing that. Bye. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. It was great meeting everyone at Momocon as well as too many games. Uh, as far as the Tokyo Ghoul thing goes, it's just a matter of I'm. I hear it's getting close to ending, so I kind of want to just hear the is here if it ended well before I go back and kind of restart Tokyo Ghoul Re. So that's just sort of what I'm doing at the moment, because if it ends well, then I'll definitely go back and read from quote unquote the midpoint and move on from there. But if it ends poorly at this point, I'm probably not going to bother. So I might as well just wait a bit longer just to see. <laughs> um, from Alice Rain, hey, if Nairman were a Mega Man boss, what would his ability be? Hmm. That's a tough one. I would probably say, uh, hmm. Hmm. It would probably be kind of a see-through shot, in a sense. I could see my boss being kind of like a, if you know the, uh, like, if it were a big pellet that did three damage, if it hit some, if it hit you, it would bounce, it would just go through and kind of bounce back and then do two damage, then one damage, and then disappear. That sort of thing. I hope I'm just explaining that right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Also, I've been revisiting DA on and off. Uh, found Stand Still on your profile, posted in 2012. That was a long time ago, and as a fellow writer, I can guess you might not feel strongly about it today. But nonetheless, I really want to say I really, really liked it. Good job. The rainy and misty atmosphere appeals to me a lot, too. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. Uh, it's one of those things I've kind of always wanted to do, but I've never really uh, had much confidence in doing so. <laughs> Maybe I'll get back to it if I find the ability to, but <clears throat> way too much of a backlog and other things to really consider doing that right now. But it's something I enjoy doing, but it usually comes out kind of crap, so whatever. <laughs> uh, from Jack Critelli. Apart from Final Fantasy, what other RPG franchises or series do you enjoy? Well, I enjoy Pokemon. Obviously, although that's kind of the very basic one. Um, I'll enjoy the Mario RPGs too, whether it be Mario RPG, the first two Paper Mario games, and the Mario and Luigi games, on and off, of course. Um, as far as other series, it's kind of just one and done for me, so I can't really say that. So it's, I'm not really a big Dragon Quest guy, I'm not really a big Tales of guy, so it, it, aside from those, it's a basic uh, kind of just on and off, whatever I feel like at the time thing. Uh, from Joma, least favorite console that I've played, or in general? Um, I'm going to assume what I played, because I obviously can't make much of an opinion on something I haven't played. Huh. Of all the ones I've played, honestly, probably really the Game Gear, really. It was a powerful console at the time, but goddamn, that battery life was awful, and, you know, my cousin had one, and it wasn't, it just wasn't a very good system. It would, it would just kind of fiddle with easily, and it just didn't work all that right. Maybe he just didn't have a very good version of it, I don't know, but that's probably my least favorite. Let's see. And last from Kenny Varnes. Since you are, were a Bleach X fan, I was wondering what you thought of everyone's favorite fan-hating trolling creator, Tide Kubo's first serialization manga, Zombie Powder. Personally, I thought it was a nice little first attempt at a serialized manga. The story was somewhat original, with McGuffins being not one, not two, not even seven, but twelve. <laughs> Rings of the Dead. The main characters were all cool. The chainsaw, sword-wielding badass Gamma, who suspiciously looks a lot like Grim Joe. The gun-singing gentleman. Okay, okay, I don't want to spoil too much of the plot for me, because if I'm going to go read it, I don't want too much said, but... Basically, your TLDR is zombie powder, yay or nay. 
Um, hmm. I actually have never heard of this, so based on your recommendation, I probably will have to go and find a version of it somewhere that I'll probably go read at some point, so uh, thanks for the recommendation. Uh, I am glad Bleak just finally a few chapters away from ending, because at this point I think we're all just sick of it and just kind of want it to go away at this point. It's kind of like, uh, hmm. Trying to think of an app. It's kind of like The Simpsons at this point. It kind of just it was really good for a while, and then it kind of just fell off a cliff at some point, and we just kind of want it to go away now. <laughs> um, yeah, so yay, Bleach is ending. It, it's not like Tide Kubo is bad at what he does. It's just that I don't think he planned the series very far ahead, and he kind of kept writing himself in the corner, so he kept having to bullshit his way out of it. Then he just doesn't know pacing very well, which hopefully he learned after Bleach, or, or he will learn after Bleach, so... Now, I'm decently looking forward to whatever he might come up with next, but, you know, it's, he's, he's not, like, my most watched author at the moment, so that's pretty much it for Bleach, really. And that seems to be the question from everyone this month, so uh, thanks, everyone, for asking your questions, and I'll get back to you soon.